The Sutton Mill Dam is a wildlife nature park and area of open water sandwiched between Clockface Road, Leech Lane and Mill Lane in Sutton, St Helens. The lake measures almost 400 yards in length and is surrounded by copious accessible woodland. By the bridge at the western end of the dam is a shallow, marshy area, ideal for youngsters new to aquatic life. Rubbish dumped in the water is used by mum to keep an eye on her brood, although it can get a bit crowded at times. It's also the perfect place to take 40 winks. And proves popular with larger creatures who want to wade for a change. At the eastern end of the dam, beyond the bridge that connects Mill Lane to Leech Lane, is a powerful waterfall. The water then continues its journey back into Sutton Brook, which flows throughout Sutton and ultimately into the Sankey Canal. Sutton Mill Dam was opened as a wildlife park in 1988 by Prince Charles, to the delight of a crowd of 200 onlookers. This was as a result of the efforts of the local community, who had campaigned against plans for the site to become a dumping ground for industrial waste. Sutton Mill Dam is no longer at its best, however, as vandals have damaged the railings and the water is now a resting place for the ubiquitous shopping trolley, as well as the odd discarded door, car tyre and buggy. Lazy newspaper deliverers even use the woodland to offload their stocks of papers. Despite this deterioration and the efforts of yobs who've shot ducks and stolen eggs and the work of stray dogs, it's still a beautiful site located within a heavily residential district of St Helens. As well as beauty on the lake itself, it can also be observed on the water's edge. And in the skies above. A few years ago, a blaze at a nearby chemical firm led to the loss of thousands of fish. But the stock has been replenished and the mill dam is able to maintain its reputation as one of the best angling waters in the town. The numerous platforms around the water which the anglers use also serve as handy launch pads. For the last three years, mute swans have bred in the dam. In 2006, they nested in the reeds adjacent to Mill Lane. The female pen incubated her eggs while the male cob stood guard. However, grey herons kept close observation on the nest with supper time, no doubt, in mind. As a result, only four cygnets were hatched. In previous years, there'd been as many as eight. Their parents are presently very protective of them. However, in six months' time, they will drive them away from the dam as they will be unwelcome competition for food. Great crested grebes have been on the water for two years, demonstrating their elaborate courtship display. Having been almost hunted to extinction for their feathers, it's understandable that the grebes tend to keep as far away from people as possible. The Sutton Mill Dam, with all its beauty and many quirks and eccentricities, is most definitely one of Sutton and St Helens' best kept secrets.
Thank you.